Hey friends, Ryaneth here. It is about nine o'clock in the morning on April 22nd, 2023. And we're fixing to get back to uh, working on this Blue Max machine by Chicago Coin. So let me show you where we're at and what we're gonna do. All right, so previously on, we finished building all the parts and pieces for the new back box because the other one is in this trash bag right here, having been completely destroyed by termites. Um, so, we got all the parts made to replace it for the light board in the back box. Um, and today we're gonna put it together. So there's a couple different ways. Most of the time you could probably get away with just gluing them, but we ain't got time to sit there and hold it. So for the, the plywood, I use these, these one uh, number eight by one and a half inch. Well, this basically, I got these at Lowe's. Uh, and they work good because the head is very small and it will grab it and pull it in so it's recessed under there, countersunk, whatever it's called. But then you can put, a, um, you know, mud or something over it and sand it smooth so you can't see it once they're together. And it is just a little bit better and it's like got this self-drilling nonsense so it uh, zip tip, I guess, with the cut thread. Apparently, whatever that means. Anyway, I've done several things with that. My virtual machine, this homebrew machine over here we're working on, it works great. Um, anyway, and then for some of the other stuff, like the smaller stuff and these, uh, you use a, well, I use an air uh, tack nails or finishing nails or whatever, just to hold it in place while the glue dries. Works pretty good. These have freaking clear coat on them. I may need to give that a good sand before it or put it on or the glue won't stick. So let's shut up and we'll start building. Uh, we gotta make sure too that once we put the frame together, the light board and the back lights are gonna fit because I made it pretty tight with very little margin. So put the frame together and make sure they fit before we get too excited. All right. Well, we got the main frame together. So you can see these screws, you sand them off, you put a little wood filler in there, and you can never tell they were there. This hole didn't work out, so I had to move it. You just put a few in there until the wood glue dries, and it works good. So you can get you one of these little corner clamps. Actually, it might be good to put one on the both sides to do it, because it wants to kick apart and spread apart and anyway it works it's just be easier with two of them it's just i mean it's pretty straightforward it just clamps on the corner like this so what we're going to do next I'm gonna set up the tripod and we're going to try to put that light board in here so the back glass is the same size as the light board uh but we got to make sure it fits and if we're going to have problems or not all right here we go. I haven't tried this yet, so wish me luck. Ooh, there's even a little room to spare. Please. All right, so. Backlash without the channels on it is 26 wide or 26 and a half wide and 23 and a half tall. Yeah, so this is 26 and a half by 23 and a half. So we're good. All right. Next order of business is to put all that trim in here. So I got to turn my compressor on. All right. So we got this bad boy done. Well, not done, but assembled got the corner braces in got the trim on the bottom sides the glue's not quite done drying yet the trim there to hold the glass and then if i come over here we got a really loud radio with the ups guy and if, if all else fails just nail the piss out of it you'll be all right um 
the light shields. Obviously this all needs to be sanded. So it looks great. So the next thing I'm gonna do is, um, I got, make you dizzy, come over with this quality entertainment here. Um, where is it? So I bought this last night. This is a flush cut bit, right? So don't mind this. I don't know how that happened, but when I screwed it in, it jutted forward really far. So we'll put some, we'll sand it down a little bit and put some wood filler on there, kind of even it out. Hopefully it'll be all right. Anyway, I take this and this little lip here, let's get that off of there. Um, I mean, it's on all four sides. And then we'll get some of that wood filler and put it around the edges, put it on here. But first, uh, we're gonna take this hardware here, put it on there so the holes are in the right place. Um, and then take it back off so that I'm not trying to like scratch the piss out of the paint after I paint it, right? And we'll also put the light board in there so the holes in the strips are good. And then if I come over into the dark hole of my life, uh, when I bought that game, it came with this back door. So I gotta pull that out of there and see if that's, he said it may be for that game, if not, find a use for it somewhere else. Um, so I gotta pull that out and see if that's the right door. Anyway, let's get some of that done and we'll come back. Makes a giant mess, but cleans it up a little bit. You just clamp it down. Got them in there. Put that on there. All right, let's go see a man about a back door. That is indeed the correct door. It does not have the lift channel uh, or the bottom channel on there. So I'm gonna make one if I have the right material, but it needs a longer lock. I mean, it locks, but uh, it needs to be a little bit longer to go in that groove. All right, so I'm gonna go see. I've got a... I've got this aluminum stuff over here I use for wooden back doors. Since you wanna come ride on a ride with me and get really dizzy. See if this is big enough. It doesn't look like it. No.
So this is half inch plywood. I guess I need five eighths probably do it. Although I think they only make three quarter, so that's a bummer. But at least we know we got the right door, right? So put that on the list for next time we go to Lowe's. All right, got that bad boy on there. Looks good. Glass channel looks forward of everything. It's not gonna be riding on the uh, the wood. So now we'll take it back apart, sand her down. Um, Put some wood filler on some of this stuff and let it dry and i'd imagine that's about what we're gonna get done in this video uh, takes that wood filler a while to dry in houston because it's so damn humid anyway you break out the sander and we'll see what we come up with all right well i put some wood filler around the edge here and you sand it because if you don't you'll be able to see the damn plies through the paint uh, at least I kind of do. I just got the little holes, the screws, and there's just a little gap here. This side wasn't bad, but I put some on there anyway. And then filled the holes here. A couple little oopsies. All in all, not too bad. I didn't put wood filler on there. Just paint it, and I mean, no one's ever going to see it. But it looks good. Um, we got to sand this and then probably gonna prime it with the Kills original and then paint it. I gotta make stencils. The soldier fell down there with the wind. Um, yeah, I gotta sand it, gotta put the primer, gotta make stencils. And I got to get the body out of the mess in the bedroom bring it out here strip it down see what I need to do to it so that we can paint them at the same time you make stencils for it they make a or pinball pimp makes a stencil kit for red baron which is a two-player version of this game but he does not make one for blue max and the artwork even the, the head artwork here is completely different I got enough for you to take that plaque off of there and transfer it. Um, it's unfortunate though, because this has a 1981 sticker. Maybe we'll see if we can get that off of there too. Anyway, lots of work, pretty fun. Um, yeah, assembling always takes so much less time than trying to build it. But yeah, I'm trying to think of what else to do. This is guess that's about it. I gotta get that circus machine, which is pretty much done, out of here so I can bring that other thing out here, or bring Blue Max out here. But I gotta find somewhere to put it. Lunchbox does not seem keen on helping me move stuff around again. And then we might try Matahari here. Um, when I clear coat the play field for Blue Max, I like to do them two at a time, because uh, it cuts down a lot on cleaning and uh, consumables like pads and stuff. So Matahari is not too bad. I was debating on getting a new play field for her, but you can see it's got the wear around the inserts and some here and there, like around those inserts. Um, there's a couple spots. Uh, you don't really see it through the dust, but right here. Oh, it's not too bad, though. So I may have to just try and fix her. I mean, she's got wear her damn head. Now, there's some pretty good holes, but kickers. So. I don't know. I haven't looked too close at her. I got it pretty cheap, so I just kind of took the money and, or took it and ran. 
balls in there. Huh. Plastics look. Like, hopefully they're just dirty. Anyway, we're getting sidetracked. Uh, but love to get this old lady going. There's no mylar. No, it does have it on the bumpers. Damn. Get that off. Getting that off is always fun. All right. Well, keep it real. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time when we get back to working on Mr. Blue Max here. All right. Catch you later.